Good morning class. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. As I said on Thursday, I am going to be asking you guys questions based on the topics that will come in the exam. Okay, let's start off. Alexis, what are two evidences of tectonic plates? The two evidences of tectonic plates are fossil records and the continental jigsaw puzzle. Good. Classic Warren Cook, here is a good science question. Where are voltmeters placed in parallel circuits? They are placed in parallel of the cell or the component. Good. Classic Susan, here is a good question. What is the northern hemisphere? Pancakes. Classic Susan. That is so incorrect. All right then Grace, what is a convection current? They are just computers. Oh come the pancakes on. The answer is the less dense air rises and the more dense air rises down. Classic Susan and Grace, for answering nonsensically. Get out of my classroom and go to the principal's office right now. You know you can't send students to the principal's office just because they answer wrong. If you dare send me and the early Andersons to my office, we will call the police and you. Exactly, you hear these wise words coming out of early Boris's mouth. Your behavior is unacceptable. This is reminding me of Victorian schools. We all agree with early Boris. If you dare send me, my gang, or any of the summer school students to the principal's office, we will tell Principal Harris about that. Exactly. Don't you dare act like Mr. Striker back in 2020 whose behavior was one of the most horrible of the time. I hear them, and how many times do I need to tell you? Getting a question wrong in my book means you are sent to the principal's office. Early Andersons, Classic Warren Cook, and Jordan, for agreeing that I should not send you to the office for answering nonsense and criticizing me. All six of you have won yourselves a trip to the principal's office with Classic Susan and Grace. Get out of my classroom. Seriously, now you have just sent Early Andersons, Jordan, and Classic Warren Cook to the principal's office for getting questions wrong and for criticizing you. If you send me, the Classic Brekowski. Alexis, William, Classic Zach, Victor, and Heather to the principal's office, we will tell Principal Harris about it. I agree with Classic Daniel, your behavior was nothing but a Victorian, unacceptable, and horrible, and you like to punish students for stupid reasons, you seriously need to stop. Harry Gakius Opa. Get over here in my office right now. What the pancakes is all of this I hear about you sending students to my office all for answering nonsense and for convicting you for your Victorian North Korean-like behavior? Dr. Harris, let me explain. You know how I am the summer school teacher during the summer and how I am the new detention teacher for the 2024-2025 to school year. Well, I always thought getting questions wrong was the only way to keep students in their place. Well, that is not your job. If students get questions incorrect, your job is supposed to gently correct them, not send them to my office for it. And when they criticize your behavior for fairness, you accept it, not send them to my office, because I heard that in one of the few days of the past three weeks of the summer school. Principal Harris, what you told me was extremely fabricated. I do make sure students behave by not answering wrong, talking, sleeping, listening to music, daydreaming, chewing gum, humming, burping, and escaping. Can't you see that? No, you aren't. You're only making yourself and your job worse by sending students to the principal's office for getting questions incorrect and for criticizing your fairness. And sending students to an administrator's office is only a regular teacher's job, not a detention teacher. A detention teacher's job is to notify the student's parents if they're back up in detention, not send them to an administrator's office. For this, I'm going to have to terminate your job as a summer school teacher. I will be teaching the students in summer school for the rest of today and tomorrow. And when they come in on Tuesday, they will have a brand new, fairer, and nice teacher instead of someone like you. Leave this building and don't come back until the regular school year starts on the 12th of September. As for you, Jordan, Classic Van Cook, Classic Susan, Grace, and the early Andersons, I appreciate greatly what the eight of you told me about what really happened with Mr. Akiasopa. You ain't better head back to class, I will meet you guys there later on to tell the rest of your class about Mr. Akusopa, I'll see you all later on. Okay summer schoolers, I just terminated Mr. Akusopa from his summer job, so I'll be your teacher for the rest of today since there are no other adults in the building besides me. And when you're coming on Tuesday, you're going to have a brand new, respectful, fair, kind, and nice teacher. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, where is Mr. Makasuper? That's a great question, class. 
Mr. Akisopa has already been terminated from his job, and he decided to go teach summer school at a different academy in Fion City. Principal Harris, who will a new teacher be? Well, according to Elizabeth Keating, the school superintendent, I can't tell you, because it's part of the policies, but I can give you clues. He will only forbid students for a few days if they answer nonsensically. He will send those to the office for very bad behaviors. The maximum penalty is a three-day in-school suspension, agreed upon by me, Vice Principal Mrs. Tanner, the next principal, and the superintendent as part of our fairness policy. Any more questions? No questions? All right, let's get into your after-school detentions. Since it's already 1 p.m., I will make sure you guys study for your science exam this Thursday. And I will also tell the new teacher that you guys will have the science exam this Thursday. I will be in my office if any of you guys need me.